Hey there. So we are going to be talking about planning accordingly for our expenses. And the topic of the uh, Zoom today is how fixed and variable expenses affect your profitability. So I am going to ask you that when you see this video, if you could just let me know where you're from and what kind of business you have, that would be awesome so that I can get an idea of who's watching these videos. And really what I want to talk about today is that difference between the fixed expense and the variable expense and how knowing the difference between those two can really affect our profitability. And so I'm Caitlin. I am the owner of the company Citizen Virtual Business Services. We have been serving plumbing contractors and other um, contractors in the construction industry for over four years. So I'm just going to go ahead and get to the point and start discussing what we're going to talk about. Um, one of the things that we're going to talk about today is you need to start tracking all of your fixed expenses. Um, fixed expenses are payments that happen pretty much on the same date and at the same time every week or every month, and it's going to generally be about the same amount. So that's going to be something like your rent, your phone bill, if you have salaried payroll employees, um, that might be your insurance if that comes out every month. You might have Google G Suite or you might have Microsoft, um, your website expenses, um, things like that. If you're using a third party invoicing software like House Call Pro or Jobber, those will all be fixed expenses because they're going to generally be about the same amount and they're going to come out on or around the same day every month or potentially every week, depending on how you have your expenses set up. So by tracking every fixed expense, even if it's a small amount, say it's only $7 a month, you are going to have a better picture of your current actual real life business habits. And those real life business habits are going to guide your spending. So no matter how small it is, it's still important to track those things on a monthly basis. And this is now the point where we're getting to the question of, okay, so I have, um, say I have Microsoft expenses coming out $7 a month every month, but some of my expenses are going to vary a little bit in their ex in their cost, or maybe I only need it every once in a while, so the date isn't always going to be the same. What is that? Well, that is a variable expense, and to be fair, the variable expenses are going to be a little bit more difficult to judge since the amount or the payment date or the time they leave your bank account vary, right? So an example of a variable um, expense would be like a utility bill, maybe your credit card payment, office supplies are mostly on an as needed basis, um, materials, um, job costs, um, and payroll, depending on if you have hourly employees, um, it might be business dinners or something like that. Those are all variable expenses. And those expenses are unpredictable by nature, but you do have more control than you may even realize. So you can think of different ways that can reduce your costs of those variable expenses. Um, it could be that maybe you're wasting energy and so your utility bills are more expensive. It could be that you willy-nilly go out to dinner with everybody that comes your way and maybe you wanna spend a little bit more thoughtful energy into going to do business dinners with people who are going to be a little bit more aligned with your business. Um, and we can also think about tracking your office supply expenses and things like that. Um, so the best way to budget variable expenses is actually to overestimate how much you might spend just to make sure that you're not hitting or exceeding that. Um, estimate. So if you're not already tracking these expenses in detail, you're really kind of walking a fine, dangerous line for when unexpected expenses do pop up. 
that could lead to added credit card debt, um, which that of course snowballs over a period of time if you're not watching that carefully. And that ultimately leads to less profit within the business. So one of the things that we totally recommend for all of our clients is to plan for your future with smart numbers driven goals. Okay, so it might not be fun. This might not be like the most exciting thing you've heard all day, but by calculating those fixed expenses and then trying to estimate, again, overestimating your variable expenses on a regular basis is going to benefit your business in the long run. Trust me on this. Um, so having a finger on the pulse of your business and those metrics are going to be crucial to determining the profitability of your company in the coming years. And it's also going to be a largely foundational aspect to growth and scalability in the future. So um, it's, uh, it's helpful really to understand that in the long term, if you're trying to reduce some of those fixed costs, um, for instance, you might think about shopping around for a more competitive insurance plan, or maybe you're using four or five different types of individual softwares, where if maybe you found one software that could do all of those things for a more competitive price, then that's, you're able to reduce those fixed expenses. Um, and then having a clearer outlook on your numbers is really going to make you be able to make better business decisions, right? So in summary, what is the big takeaway here? Well, every expense, no matter how small, no matter how big, no matter if it's fixed or variable, we really need to be tracking those things in order to make smart business decisions as business owners. And your numbers are directly going to affect your bottom line. Knowing where your money is going and allowing you to properly plan for your business's future is going to help you be successful. So start tracking those expenses, set those revenue goals based on real life business habits, what's actually happening within the business, and you need to do something. So if you need support, if this is something you don't have time for because you're doing seven figures a year and you've got people underneath you, you're managing projects, you're managing a team. If this feels like you need support, feel free to comment below inside of this video with the words next steps. And we're gonna reach out to you to talk about how what we can provide for you might be able to support you. And if you currently don't have a team that's supporting you in this, please free, free, feel free to reach out to us so that we can see if we can help. And if you know of a business owner, a friend or a family member or a colleague who might need to hear this information as well, please share this video with them or tag them below. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you so much for tuning in.